Hi everyone. So this is Kaushiki and today I am here with another video where I talk about this amazing buttercream which is eggless and it is not overpowering sweet. This is famously known as Ermine buttercream or cooked flour buttercream or boiled milk buttercream. So if that interests you, let's get started. So we start with uh, one cup of milk. The milk is at room temperature, and half a cup of full fat cream, and we'll bring it to a boil. Now we should make sure that the pot, the pan that we are using is a heavy bottom pan, and we'll be continuously stirring all throughout. The flame should be uh, between low to medium, never on high. To this, I'm adding a cup of half a cup of sugar, and I've moved from a spatula to a wire whisk. Now, to this, I'll add one fourth cup of flour, but this is to be added in three to four additions not in one go this will avoid any kind of lump in the custard Now I'm adding the last uh, third part of the flour in the mixture. The thorough mixing of the uh, custard gives a silky texture to the buttercream. We have already made a video on a vanilla eggless cake. And in case you have missed that, then do check out that video. We have used very simple ingredients available at home. Now to this custard, I'm adding a pinch of salt uh, because the butter that I'm using is an unsalted butter. If you're using a salted butter, then please do not add this extra amount of salt. The custard is ready. I'll just whisk it a few more times and pass this custard through a sieve just in case to avoid any lumps going to the buttercream. If you're liking this video, do give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you're making this a mini buttercream, don't forget to tag us on Instagram. I would love to see what you have created. If you're facing any problem, do give us a shout out in the comment section below. I would love to give you some solutions for your problems in making this buttercream. Now in, uh, you can use a cling fl film as well but I just do not like to add plastic to my food so I like to use a parchment paper and uh, I use the, the custard itself to stick the uh, parchment paper to the bowl so that no air goes or touches the surface of the custard. Now this helps not to form any kind of a crust or a film on top of the custard. And this straight away goes to the fridge and once it's nice and chilled we will take it out and start whipping the butter now 
In another bowl, I mixed 300 grams of butter with one teaspoon of vanilla essence. And now to this, I am adding chilled custard that we made. Make sure the custard is nice and chilled. You do not want to add the hot custard in the butter. It will be nothing but a gooey mess. The butter temperature also should not be too hot or neither it should be too cold. We will add this custard in two parts. Do follow us on Instagram at Simply Amazing Life by Kaushiki. We post a lot more on Instagram and Facebook as compared to YouTube. You get to see a lot of behind the scenes what we are doing. So catch us for more behind the scenes on Instagram. Now I'm adding the last batch of the custard as well, scraping all the sides from the bowl. And we'll whisk this till the buttercream becomes nice and stiff. Now don't go by this lumpy texture right now or uh, very loose structure. It will form. Keep whisking. I just realized later that I should have taken a bigger bowl for this buttercream. This buttercream is very uh, subtle in taste. It is neither very sweet uh, nor it does it does not contain any kind of egg in it as compared to French buttercream or Swiss meringue buttercream or Italian buttercream. So this makes it a little safer choice if I say so. Plus all the ingredients that I've used here are already available at home. So you don't need icing sugar, you don't need eggs. All that is required is butter, sugar, milk and cream to create this wonderful icing. This icing is perfect to ice any cake. It is very stable to make all kinds of uh, decor, buttercream decor for the cake like flowers or even to do a palette knife art on the cakes. It is perfect to uh, ice a cupcake. The buttercream is ready and as you can see it is nice and thick and very stable very stable buttercream and it is perfect to smooth the cake in my next video I'll show you how to ice the cake I'll be using my vanilla cake and this vanilla icing to ice the cake where I teach you how to torte cake and make a beautiful four layer cake this is how you insert a piping nozzle in a piping bag. I'm using a 1E nozzle.
this is how stable this buttercream is you can see for yourself I'm just piping a big dollop of buttercream so don't forget to watch the vanilla cake video that I have recently posted on my channel and uh, be ready with this vanilla cake and buttercream for the next video where I teach you how to tort the cake, ice the cake and make a wonderful cake from your own home ingredients just like a professional. And thank you so much for watching my channel and uh, liking all my videos. Till then stay safe, stay healthy.